I'm Richard Taylor and I'm cycling into a Greater Cambridge City Deal event. Um, now the City Deal have um, got themselves a new website and they're holding an open show and tell event this afternoon, um, inviting people to come along and comment on their new website. Obviously it would be really good if they'd have um, requested people to use um, at the design stage um, before making this new website. Uh, I have submitted some ideas to the City Deal. I've suggested that um, they, hold a, they have a deliberation section on their website. Like an important thing that the City Deal does is um, get views from representative groups, um, councillors um, and individuals. And um, it would be nice if that deliberation could take place on the website, if we could submit views, um, see others' views in public and respond to other people's views. Um, there are some deliberation systems which exist, um, used for the local plans for example. Um, it would be nice to see those um, used here. That's even something which the City Deal could develop and perhaps sell to other um, local government bodies. Uh, I've also suggested that perhaps they take a, um, a radical step, a radical, um, a dramatic step, and perhaps go to a position of publication by default. Why not publish um, all the information which the City Deal holds on their website, unless there's a good reason um, to withhold it? Debbie, by the way. So I'm Richard. Richard. Yeah. Yes, I know. <laughs> um, so it, this will have a. It, this isn't the actual video, but there will be a video about the city deal that will sit behind this. Um, so, how much data does that require to, um, to to show that video? How will it work for people who are um, in rural areas of Cambridgeshire on um, without broadband? I don't know. I'm going to check with the film company. Actually, I'm going back to them today. Um, and I think what we're going to have is just a short clip mm. of the film sitting behind the homepage, just mm. a 20 second short clip that mm. you can then go through to yeah. the full version if you want to. So it shouldn't so be that big yeah. today. Or indeed, people on mobiles have got to pay for their, their data. Well, course, exactly, well. yeah. And we don't yeah. want this to come up for people every time they open the yeah. um, website okay. because it could be annoying. Um, so then it will scroll down. So this is the test site, I should add. Yeah. So it, all the information isn't currently there, but it will be. Um, so this will lead to a bit of an overview about the. Uh, partnership, um, some of the things we want to achieve. Yep. Um, there'll be a bit where you can subscribe to our newsletter. Um, and then it will lead on to project news and updates, which is sort of some of our press releases, some yep. of the updates on the projects. Um, and they all kind of you can move when you can read more. Really. Yeah. So can we have a look right at uh, sort of a, what, one of the pages within it? Yeah. Can you want to read? Let's have a look at the release. So this leads you through to the full release. Uh, some of them have got images in them, some of yeah. them haven't. We've, we haven't put them in the longer ones to be honest because it okay. just makes the page longer. And is, it, um, is there any way to um, submit comments and, and to, to discuss the <clears> project <throat> on the website? Um, at the moment, no. We're, mm. we're, we're going, I'll be honest, we're going out at the moment with quite a basic site um, with sort of mm just the information at the moment we just want to check that it all kind of works okay. but for sort of future phases we will have increased functionality um, we haven't got any plans for a forum or anything like that at the moment but we do have a get involved page which will have all the links to all of our events like liaison forums uh, all our contact details and we are planning to do a lot more outreach event type things so is there an events um, calendar because that's something you've got yes. so there's an events calendar what about the there's documents then Yep. Is, are the um, sort of all the key documents are they going to be on on City Deal's own website now, or is it going to be still on South Cambridge's? And the the meetings and agendas will, are still done. on the Modern Gov site. Mm. Um, we'll obviously link to them. Yeah. Um, and they'll be contained. There'll be a link in each event page. So the events will come through on each project page. The list of events. Yeah. You can link there, so that you can then click on the event, find all the information, and then it will link you through to the. The documents. What we are trying, we are talking about doing at the moment, is because it, the modern gov site sits on South Cams or looks like South Cams at the moment. We potentially could have the modern gov part look like our website and sit within our structure a bit more. It's not something that we've got at the moment, but further down the line we could look at doing that. So, what happens if you click on submit a question to the executive board? Then, so, Does that <laughs> so at the moment, so oh, this is the event. Yeah. So it's at a but essentially what it does is takes you through to the event details and then it's got the link to the email address where you send your questions yeah, so by, and the dates by, by. Yeah. 
and it's the, the dates and times as to when yeah. you can submit your questions. So have we got any detailed description just on, like, say, the local liaison forum page? So at the moment, all the local liaison forums are all on one page. Yeah, that's Is going that, to be different. So that's so there'll be a, a main page which will tell you generally about local liaison forums, why they're there, and all yeah. that kind of stuff. And then each project will have its own um, local liaison page so like look at the 1307 so there is the local liaison forum page and when you click on that it brings you through to the information there about the local liaison forum so it's got who the chair and the vice chair are yeah. it's open to the public and the and then meeting then papers for these will be as they are now on the city deals website yeah yeah, yeah. yeah. So, so for example so that then you say what happens if you click on the ask so it shows you so it gives you straight away the link to yeah. it's how you submit your question and the link to the papers yeah, yeah. so yeah so, so yeah. Yeah. i got it yeah yeah, yeah. yeah. sorry yeah. That's all right. That's okay. sorry that's all right so it was this is a link to the events so yeah. it'll pull up the local liaison forum events mm -hmm. so that you can go to that page go see when the next meeting is uh and then you can uh learn that one's an old one so the new ones will be put on um, and then at the bottom, it's got the, some of the some papers documents, yeah. and the documents. So there's no discussion. Was there any discussion on um, sort of getting more of the documents that the City Deal holds proactively published on, on the website? Will, will there be a, more information published on the new website than we've got currently? Um, at the moment, the, the information that's published on there is the information that's currently published on our website. But what we will try and do, we are, as a sort of the next phase, we're looking to really improve our document library. Mm. So it will be searchable by date and topic mm. and all of that sort yeah. of stuff. So what do you have and internally to I'm use? Do you, do, do, so basically what I'm wondering mm. is why can't yeah. you just make whatever you use internally to share documents and make that available to the public? Do you have an internal intranet or an internal system? We have a, uh, just a filing structure. Uh, like a, It's not a SharePoint or anything like that. I'll show you this looks... And it would need some severe work if we were going to <laughs> share that with the public. Uh, so essentially, this is it. But it, the, we use the council's filing structure, so obviously the, we would have to. Um, so if you, or if, if so, if a member of City Deal staff wanted um, a local liaison forum agenda, how would they would they get it? They'd probably go on the website. They'd go on the website too. Yeah. So, so it is yeah. it is a system for for everybody really. Yeah, it is. Yeah, no, so it generally you, is. I don't. So, so if you make so, so if you make say consultation response as well better accessible to members of the public, mm. you get them better accessible for, for the staff. For the staff as, as well. well. So it's yeah, worth. I mean it's it's used by staff just as much as it is by the public. Yeah. So um, um, yeah, and at the moment I admit we have kind of dumped the documents in those pages but there will be a searchable facility yeah. event. And one thing we've had recently is we've had a document mm -hmm. changed so the, the, the Milton Road Location Forum had a presentation mm -hmm. and it was then there was a different version was updated but there was no tracking of that on the website so there's nothing to say here's the old version here's the new version is that is there any any improvement on that on the new website? Um, Version control, control, yeah. version control is we're looking yeah. at in general in terms of that, trying to make that clear. A lot of that is in terms of the um, naming convention of, of kind of files and stuff. Yeah. Mm. Never going to get it 100% right, right, but it's something we're yeah. aware of and kind of going, right, let's try and be clear and transparent. I think some yeah. lessons have been learned. But we've had it a few times yeah. with the, yeah. like the Milton Road plans. There's been yeah. lots of different documents that have all been yeah. given the same name. Yeah. yeah. Yes. I suppose the one yeah. thing also with various different organisations as well, it's um, sometimes you're also dealing with their naming conventions that's something about the different organizations mm. saying you just need to be very clear this is a different version mm. and and telling yeah. them to be that as well so mm. um yeah we know yeah but that's yeah it. i must so admit we probably with the old system it was very much you replaced mm. the document like for like mm. this system doesn't do it doesn't allow you to do that so it should be that all so it should it should kind of force there. a new description mm. yeah. so it might yes. it might just help help that kind of problem yeah. More, yeah so it's one of the things I was wondering, so how much does this all cost sort of new website rebranding is that something you you know i don't know i know how much the website is in i don't know how much the branding is well the branding uh, now i can see it for the first time it looks like a, just a change of I was yeah, gonna say, just yeah. a change of name the, the, the 50 brand, quid yeah the branding's very cheap i'm, I'm aware how much <laughs> the i'm much. aware how much the totality of the website in terms of all functionality but then how that breaks down into the branding and stuff, I don't know, but we're under 20 grand okay, for so a website which is cheap. That is cheap. So the reason we did it now was because the, the county council, as you're probably aware, has just rebranded their web, redone their website. So we shared the same, same platform with them and so that platform was becoming going out. Um, I mean, obviously, we wanted to change our website anyway because it's truly awful. So, will it give? But is it more independent now than the? Um, it is. So yeah, it's, it's more independent from the county council's yeah, website. Yeah. yeah, it's 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 
totally different. As yeah. You, I'm sure, yeah, sure you're aware. So, so there's all the projects for transport. Um, we have got little scroll bars here, but we know that they're in a dreadful dark colour that you can't see them, so I've asked them to amend that. But it goes down, and there is that's a page there for the local liaison forms, which is the main page. I'm going to have that moved further up near, mm. closer to the top. Okay. Um, and the transport main page, housing, skills, smart. And obviously there's the news page, which has all the news. And we have a, fa a facility to pull these news releases through to the project pages. Mm. At the moment, there's a bug in that. So when we go live, I'm not sure whether that will be working or not, but <laughs> yeah. it, it, all the news will be on the home page, obviously. So, so when is uh, um, everyone else going to be able to see it? When, when is it going to, when's the switch over going to happen? Is it? We're hoping for next week. Next, next week, week, yes. Okay. Date to be confirmed. But the yes, thing is, next there's also week. that stuff when you go live. You go live at a certain time, but it can take up to 24 hours for you to pick up a this network. So if we yeah. went live, you know, say like, nine o'clock on Wednesday morning, you not, might not be able to view it until nine o'clock on Thursday. So yeah, the there's a go live and like there's a visible. Yeah. yeah. So um, it will be there by, by Thursday. Yeah. 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 And so, so, the other so you've held this event once mm -hmm. it's been designed. Did you do anything before the, the, the new design to ask people what they wanted from the... Beth had a stakeholder website? workshop, didn't she? So you, you were at the stakeholder workshop that Beth did, I think. I mean, it was... No? No, I, I, oh, there, was, okay. there was a one very early on, which I know I, yeah. I, I was invited to, and mm. then people were... Yeah. So it was just general it's communications exactly. and public questions, and just a, a, it was quite an all-encompassing kind of right, yeah, agenda. Right, kind of yeah, yeah. So we did then do, uh, like, a, a public survey on communications and how people wanted to get mm. their information stuff like that so I mean I think we've we've also done a lot of analysis of the previous website and how people used it but what I would say is this is not a finished product and what we want to keep on doing is getting people's feedback and holding more sessions like this but I think what we will try to do in the next few sessions is give people some tasks to do and see if they can find things and and see how people go about finding things because that's something we haven't had the time to do at the moment I suppose the other thing is we're not going to lose anything are we so we've, we've got a lot of historic data from the last couple of years is on the website a lot of, for example on Milton Road we've got all the um, consultation responses have been published um, yes, yes, we're not going to lose anything everything and what about really important, and yeah. I think we've already had a commission had a promise on Twitter that all the links so to that kind of stuff should that should should, should, over, should, should yeah, all remain just be redirected we're going to do that yeah so. probably again for the go live it will be direct you through to the home page in time because we can't do the links until the site goes live in time we'll then start going right milton road stick it into yeah. milton road and then stick certain things from milton road out to there we have thousands of urls <laughs> to sit and literally so why would that be a manual why would that be a manual task i don't i'm not a techie I've been told it's, it's something that we've got to do as a city deal and I'm working with people that know more about website back design than I do in terms of is there a quick and easy way we can do that. So first things first is to link to the home page then second to work out how we then link. Yeah. I'm so, a technical person no. so I'm beyond my level of expertise apart from a solution for go live. Mm. So actually, if, so actually, if you have a suggestion I'm more than happy to uh, yeah. if there's a techie way, an non techie way to explain it. Well, I don't know what you're planning to do, but one way to do it would be to, to redirect. If, if the URLs are going to change, then um, redirect them all properly using the appropriate well, that's the thing, system yeah. following Google's advice on what to do. Yeah, mm. no, that's the thing is in terms of that. So we're going to redirect like the key. But if, say, for example, you clicked on Milton Road LLF agenda and minutes from March 2017, mm -hmm. It's quite a job to pick that level of detail to make sure that then subscribes across to Milton Road LLF. We can direct chunks of Milton Road's documentation mm. and links through to the Milton Road page, but then to eventually have, so if you clicked on that from the Every on-site initially one. to go through to exactly the same point in this, that's what I'm saying, there's thousands of URLs, but to, to redirect the old site to the new site, that's being done. We're looking at redirecting the key schemes to the key schemes, but in having you click on something in the old site and that automatically takes exactly the same document, that won't be there for the for, for the go live, mm. but it's something we're looking about how you can do, and is there a, an easy way of finding that? And well, assigning it's, 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 certainly, if anyone suggests doing that manually, I think that's yeah, crazy. Yeah, exactly. But yeah, um, it's, but we're looking at what we can do for yeah. life. Yeah. But it, it's a value because people have referenced yeah. these things yeah, in their course, submissions. Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah. And, and eventually, but, when everything's off, we know everything is completely yeah. off that site. The old sites will be gone anyway because everything will be on here. Mm. Right, that's not the purpose. So no. the purpose of redirect is so yeah. that when people have, have linked um, in a submission or in an yeah. article that they've written, they're given a reference, yeah. mm. and so that that continues to be yeah. to be live into the future. Yeah. Mm. 
Yeah, we've got some work to do on redirects. Yeah. But yeah. Well, there's already been a, a, a public promise on a quite a, a good one, because often when public bodies change their, their websites, yeah. they, 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 they drop all the links. Even the Cambridge News recently, yeah. as you know, they mm. got a new website and they lost, Everything well, they both deleted and broke the links to lots okay. of stories. So, so, so we've, but that, that's again, that's like losing the history yeah. of the city. It's losing yeah. the history of how these things it is, yeah. came about if you, if, if you don't um, maintain it. Something we might not have for Go Live as well is all the previous press releases, but we have saved them all. So well, that, that's the kind of historic yeah, detail that exactly. that's exactly the, I mean it's important though, yeah. and it's, it's useful for us because we can go back and work, what yeah. did we say about that oh, okay so um, all of that will be so put in, in there in terms of just time. thinking again about the history of it so yeah. what about working with the national archives or um, the local archives is that something I remember the um, police authority did when they disbanded okay they thought well look, we've got all this historic valuable data of how many decades it was of running the police locally, mm. how can we keep it so to actually work work with the experts at holding historic data? Okay. Might be worth... Yeah, it might be worth us talking to the archives about yeah. it. Mm -hmm. yeah. Because National okay. Archives do um, yeah. the government stuff, so they're probably quite capable of taking a snapshot of a website before you turn it off. Okay. And the local people... Probably not a bad idea. British, British <laughs> Library as well. I did yeah. send out an email to three or four people just saying, "What should we do? What's how, yeah, how we're turning? We... Up, we're turning off a public website. Mm. Can you help? Yeah. I'm sure yeah, that yeah. there's archivists in the county council as well, aren't they? They yeah, must there have. Are, yeah. I don't know. I don't know whether they, they're interested in our no. websites, but <laughs> they might be. They might, anyway. Especially not ours. <laughs> Well, it's the kind of thing that when, once, once the changes happen, yeah. people yeah, once will... it's gone, it's gone. So when, well, when the diggers come down Milton Road, then, then people are going to start <laughs> saying, how did this happen? Mm. Or, or, mm. I think, like, I know from things I write, you get a lot of interest when the building starts that you don't... Yeah. Don't yeah. you think, think there's been lots of people caring yet? People will really start caring when you start the building work and yeah. um, building busways and... Digging up roads. Anyway, but thanks for yes. doing that because I know we've gone over. over no, no, that's all right. That's fine. I'm glad, I'm, I'm glad you came. Brilliant. Thank you. Okay, thanks very much. Yeah, thank you.